You're very welcome back to the show. Now, the millennial generation, they're often portrayed in the media as the selfie-obsessed, entitled snowflake generation. But an initiative to raise money for Down Syndrome Ireland's ability programme is set to change that perception. We are joined now by Daniel Hines and Tommy Dunton, who are involved in a great event called Back to the Debs. We also have Carl Griffin with us. Guys, you're all very, very welcome to the show. Daniel, okay. tell, tell us about this, first of all. What is it all about? Yeah, well, I think you summarised it very well there. So the millennials have a... There's a negative connotation to that word. So we're going to try and see, can we change what that means? So across the country, since the 25th of July, mm -hmm. we've over 150 people raising... We've challenged them to a €1,000 between now and the 24th of November. And we have a set of judges looking at all the fundraising events, seeing who can do it the most innovatively, who can do it the fastest, who can raise the most money. And on the 24th of November, in the round room in the Mansion House, oh, we're going to have a closing nice ceremony. Brilliant place, really nice. nice. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So it's, essentially we have Ireland's newest uh, winter event. It's going to be the Millennial Ball 2018. So we're going to give the award to uh, who, who raised most innovatively, the, the fastest, and of course the Millennial of the Year. So we're really looking forward to that event on the 24th of November. It's sponsored by Irish Life. And one of our uh, contestants, participants, is Tom and his team... Um, are doing the Back the Debs, which was very exciting. We were oh, yeah, so you can come it. up with different mm. ideas, and that was yours. Yeah, yeah. I think we we have about ten committee members on the uh, on the committee itself. Uh, each was for, tasked with getting ten people to be involved. And uh, we're part of the whole thing is raising as much awareness as it is about money. Mm. Uh, so we came up with the idea of going back to your Debs. I think something that everybody uh, loved, really enjoyed. Is it recreating your Debs or what? It's bringing into 2018. Uh, I think so. It's recreating the Debs, but bringing so a new. So get rid of the on. shameful photos. Shameful <laughs> photos, there won't be a sit down meal, there'll be a uh, drag bingo, there'll be entertainment on the night, drag there'll be bingo. a lot of fun. Yeah. What, so, is, what is drag bingo? <laughs> uh, it's bingo, which is hosted by a drag queen, so a bit okay, of fun on the night itself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of like finger food rather than a sit down meal. Uh, all to raise awareness for uh, the millennial of the year, okay. but also for Down Syndrome Ireland. Can anyone well. go? Does it have to be yeah. millennials? Are the rest of us throwing throw throw up the trash heap? Uh, we'll have the usual stuff, so we'll have corsages, we'll have uh, awkward parents. Uh, Post for photos and, and anybody, anybody can go along. Thank you, Maura. So. <laughs> what, what, what about uh, Dancing Uncle? Yeah, absolutely. We'll have a lot of embarrassing <laughs> dancing, not only from uncles, but also from people who will be involved themselves. Now, can we show photos of the guy's Debs first, right? So, oh how many God. years since? Who, whose Debs do we have first? Oh, this is Daniel. Oh, that's, I'm first. Thanks, Daniel. Daniel. So, you're first. So, how long is it since you're Debs, Daniel? That is six years ago. Oh, sure, you're only a gossiper. Dye your hair. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I didn't get the memo, but that was junior sir time is obviously prolonged into my Debs. Yeah. When, when did you have your Debs, actually, Daniel? Because when we were in secondary school, we had them when we were in sixth year, and other schools have them when they finish. No, we were sixth year, so after, um, straight after school, just after you get the leaving cert results, uh, when you start in college. Okay. Uh, that's when we had it. Okay, yeah. let's see your Debs then. <laughs> Next. I haven't aged well at all now. <laughs> You're only eight years since your Debs, is it? Yeah, eight years ago. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, fair play. You, you look well. I have, I have how much is your depth, though? Oh, 294. So. We found a picture. There we have it. <laughs> Let's take it out. There's those depths you're trying to That's my date as well. I'm only joking. Uh, that's Shane Whelan. We were in the same class together in school, so that was just before we hit, uh, went you off. You looked like you're out for action that night, though. Do you know what? There was no drink or anything involved at all that night. It was all very, very looked, straightforward. What age were you? I was probably around 17 or 18 there. Hmm. Well, like what's, what's with the suspicious eyes of all I always have suspicious eyes when it comes to you. No, there yeah. we have it. Yeah. Where's, your, where's, where's your pitch from your devs, Mara? I didn't have a devs. Oh. Oh, no. oh my God. Do, do you know what you're after doing tomorrow here? No, no, no. You <laughs> we brought, did you, recreate you have, devs. You have brought up them. all these raw motions yes, inside our Mara Duran. Yeah. Well, come along yeah. next Saturday no. and you can have it. That's it. I can have my devs for <laughs> Carl, how are you? Good. 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 Will we take a look at your devs? Yeah. Let's take a photo of Carl's devs. There you go, Carl. You were oh, ready yeah. for a bit of action, a bit of crack too, I'd say. Yeah. How long yeah. ago was this call? It was around five years, I think. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I went to my, I went to my cousin's house beforehand, um, just uh, a get together, um, we, and then we went down the bus. We went, we went, in a group, and uh, we went. In a class, so. Oh, but you're from Kerry, so you'd be like, oh yeah, I bet oh, you yeah. do it all yeah, night, yeah. you say. Uh, we, do, Kerry, we, we do things properly, Carl, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So there we <laughs> have it. And was it, was it a good night, Carl? It was a good night, yeah. Good crack. Good night, yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. So she said, this is all to raise money, of course, uh, for Down Syndrome. Carl, you have Down Syndrome, you're working. I know yeah. you're, you've, you've got a very, very posh title. Your work is a supplies ambassador. Yeah. Where do you work? 
The best place I was in Clarkson in County Kerry. Um, a good place. Yeah, it's a good place. Good place, yeah. So you work I, in Fexico, is it? Fexico, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I deliver supplies like by the mimic and I deliver mail and I do scanning and importing. Yeah. All the important yeah. jobs that's to be yeah. done. It, it's amazing when we, we, I was reading up earlier on that in Washington people don't send there's eighty five percent of, of people don't send yeah. them work. Yes, which which is opposed to only five percent of people uh, with Down syndrome in Ireland. Which is crazy. You know, it's, it's a stark uh, fact, and that's why we're here today to get the country behind us to change mm-hmm. that. Because uh, on the island of a thousand welcomes, we should have a higher rate than 5% for people with Down syndrome. Yeah, and, and I suppose then you'd have certain jobs positioned in that way that would be accessible for people with Down syndrome. Exactly. So there's, there's, there's two parts of it. So one will be upskilling and training uh, yeah. people with Down syndrome and also developing links with employers to find jobs. So it's, uh, this is, this, the Money We're Fundraising is launching this programme. Uh, and uh, that's why we actually this weekend hit our 100,000 euro goal. So yeah, we, we had a target of 100,000, so there's still 30 days left. So we're going to see how much we can fundraise. Uh, so we really hope we can soar past that. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's really realistically, good. what would you be going for, Daniel? I'm going to say here on TV today, I'd like to hit 150,000. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. And what, fair play, that's a lot why of not? Well, there's, there's 150 millennials out there across the country really doing some amazing, amazing yeah. fundraising. Yeah. And I think... Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to shag the tag, get, get rid of the tag then as well, of being a snowflake generation and all this. And this is one exactly. of the reasons, well, in one sense, is it? Well, the, look, look at it this way. The millennial generation is the largest generation in the history of human civilization. So we're mm-hmm. hoping that we can make sure that the largest generation in the history of humankind is the largest force of good. So that's what we're going to try and do, change the meaning. Change the meaning, I suppose, and change that thing that you had kind of a soft time, really, I suppose, that's the reality. Tell us why Down Syndrome and and your connections. So I suppose uh, I have one of my own family friends is uh, 11 or 12, and he has Down Syndrome. And I often compare that to my little brother, um, Andrew, who's nine years old. And when I see those two young boys growing up, and they both go to school, and they both go to college, I see no reason why they should both have the exact same opportunities mm-hmm. and they should have the exact same um, imp- uh, education and... Uh, As everyone else, yeah. Everybody else. Yeah. Carl, for you now, with the job and all that, how much has it changed your life? Yeah, um, it's in everything, to be yeah. honest. Um, yeah, I, 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 I started back to walk first and then I started on that for a while and I went down to do a sort of farming. Mm-hmm. Great. And and then and then I I was afraid of the dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was afraid of the dogs, and I came back came back to walk again, and they wanted me to do a, a full time in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah. it's great, and you love going to work, yeah. and, all, and it's fantastic yeah. for you, and meeting other people and all that. Meeting other people and having the crack. And the having the crack, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tom, it is so important, really. Like we are. An inclusive society. Mm-hmm. We all have a power to play, and that's it's very true and very obvious here. Yeah, definitely. I think they raise the morale and work so much as well. I have a cousin with Down syndrome, Aoife. She's in the Special Olympics. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's the light in any room. Uh, she's worked in Tesco ourselves, and she's had great opportunities there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think everybody should get a chance. I think in this day and age, diversity and inclusion is the one thing that yeah. I think is mm-hmm. on. Changing attitudes. Right. 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 I suppose very, that's very the first important. thing you feel. Do you feel that uh, as important as raising money, that attitude changing is uh, equally important? The awareness itself is massive. Just that new employers who are watching today or who might yeah. be watching at any stage would take that on as a potential thing to, mm-hmm. to hire people with Down syndrome and okay. give people that so, opportunity as well. Uh, the 27th, what's going yeah. to happen again? Remind us again, Tommy. Yeah, so we're going back to the Debs. Uh, it's on the 27th in the Radisson Blue Royal Hotel uh, on Golden Lane. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can get all of the information on backtothedebs.com. Um, and we're inviting everybody here. There's limited tickets left. Uh, but from any age group, any generation to come along, uh, celebrate Down syndrome, but also have great fun. Great. Uh, great fun. How so. do employers find out about these type of programmes? How, what, can they get in touch with you? Exactly. So just go straight to Down syndrome Ireland's page and you can look up the Ability Programme and uh, the information will be there on how you can either one, hire someone with Down syndrome or start developing links that we can start the talks that you can take them on board. So that's Down syndrome Ireland website is the best place to find it. Great. It's win-win for everyone, lads. Yeah, exactly. Great. Uh, Thanks the, very the best much. of luck with Thanks the event. Sense. I'd imagine that's going to be great fun there. Yeah. And uh, more, I, I feel like I should bring you to the devs. I, I feel I should, I should I bring you or something. Yeah, do you, you think know? I've lost that kind of big thing in my life? I, I, think, it's, I think it's affected you still more. You're still <laughs> talking about it after all these years. You know? <laughs> well, I might end up there. It's this Sunday, as uh, the boy says there, the lad says there, the 27th at the Radisson Blue Golden Lane, Dublin, Cahill. Can I just um, say something there? I just want to 
mention the pe people in sign of work. Sure. Mm -hmm. I just want to mention um, a few. Um, the likes of Eamon, he walks me in sign points points in Vexka and Patty. And I I walk with, um, I have friends in, in the canteen as well. Uh, Damien, uh, Dan, and Aidan and Kelly. Yeah. Lovely. We know that they'll be well, buying you, know you lunch for the next You're week. You're lucky you said that, that now. You couldn't go back to Kerry without <laughs> mentioning them. Yeah. Well Might have a job. Anyway, thanks no. a lot. No,